You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a familiar Monday night face. I have Susan DeCastro, the Ward 4 City Council. Susan, nice to see you as I drop Me my too. pen on the That's floor. Okay, um, no worries. Um, you are getting ready to do your first yes. board meeting. Yes, that's right. Since I was sworn in on January 1st, I'm having my first Ward 4 meeting. It's going to be this coming Wednesday, mm -hmm. March 14th. It will be from 6.30 until 8 o'clock, and it's going to be at Emanuel House, which is at the corner of East Nilsen Street and Montello Street in Ward 4A. Okay, Emanuel House. That's a new location. There have yes. been Ward 4 meetings, previous counselors, to you, uh, I, go, I go all the way back to Vi Packard and Linda Belzotti and that's some right. of the folks that serve. That's right. And, but I don't remember it being at Emanuel House, so that's a really nice place to have it. It is, and actually they've just changed hands, and the name is changing from Emanuel House to Connemara something. Okay. But I was told I could still use the name Emanuel House because that's what all Brocktonians know it as. Well, it's it, like the, the, the former artist who named Prince when he right. dropped his name, right? That's right, yes. Um, we used to have a library, a branch library in the Emanuel House back in the oh, day. Wow. When we had the four branches. Mm -hmm. We had the Campello branch. That was its last location before it closed. Maybe we'll find enough money one day to open it back up. We sure should. There's a lot of readers in Ward 4. So what are you going to cover at your ward meeting? What are you hoping to accomplish? I'm still finalizing my um, lineup. Mm -hmm. But I have asked um, a Ward 4 resident who is a school policeman to come and speak about social media. Now, as it turns out, I have to get permission from the police department, mm -hmm. and I do have a call in, so that's not finalized yet. And then I asked uh, Officer Bill Healy to come by and about crime watches. Um, I would like, on, on this past Monday night, at the city council meeting, actually finance committee, um, Pat Sullivan came in from the recycling station to uh, present a PowerPoint about our new garbage collection system. And I would kind of like to get them to come, and they said they would come to Ward 4 meetings, Pat and a few other people, mm -hmm. his entourage, with samples of the new garbage cans. So I'd like to get them. And then there's a few other people I'm talking to, and, and I'm happy to give updates about Word for issues and what I've observed at the city council. So it will be a busy hour and a half. And best of all, there's plenty of parking, and Emmanuel House promised me light refreshments. There you go. Well, you said when you were running that you were going to communicate with your residents. You're yes. reachable, you're accessible, yes. you have a phone number. Do you want to give it out? I'm sure you get enough phone calls, but you want everybody, we can put it up on the screen. Sure. What is your best number to contact? You? I use my office number, 508-941-0108. Now, I have an official number that is listed on the city website under city council, and that number call forwards to the number I just gave you. So okay. it's all the same. And I have a, um, an email address, snacastro at cobma.us. Okay. Um, that, that I've been getting a steady amount of, of emails on. And I know you, Susan, you do your homework. I do. You get back to people. Mm -hmm. I ran into you, I was at a Dunkin' Donuts one day and you were meeting with a couple of constituents over there yeah. in Ward 4. The yeah. recycling thing is very interesting and yes, exciting. I saw the post Shirley, Un Shirley Azak. I, 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 you, I always say Eunice too, because that's her married name, but um, yes. she posted and then people are all confused. So bringing yes. Patrick in to talk about it, I'm overjoyed to see new containers on wheels with lids. I can't wait because I have one thirty-two gallon that I have to lug out there. It yeah. doesn't have wheels on it. The mm -hmm. cover blow, blows off. That's right. I mm -hmm. use two recycling bins at least. Yes. I'm looking forward to the actual recycling bin also with wheels and a cover. Right? Yes, yes. So that's good information. And uh, and the recycling center is located right in Ward 4. Yes, it is on Oak Hill Way. I have to give Shirley Asex a lot of credit because I understand she's been working on this for a while with the various departments of the city, public works, recycling, and all that. And um, many other communities have this same program with this company that we're getting the cans from. And I know uh, one of my sons lived in, in a house while he was in college in Newton, mm -hmm. and they have this, this because I guess the goal is that the, the uh, cans will be put out next to each other and the truck will pull up and there's this automated arm that comes out and grabs the can. Mm -hmm. And it's much faster than having a human do it. Um, and also we'll be able to mix our, our, our recycling. 
I drive my family crazy trying to keep the paper with the paper and the, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, metal and the glass together and the uh, plastic together. We can combine everything and they'll do the um, sorting for us. That's really attractive to me. Except for pizza boxes with grease. Those no go pizza in the boxes. Trash. That's right. Those go That's in the right. trash. Even though yes. they're a cardboard and people might want to recycle them, can't do it. That's right. Okay. So exactly. That's what I learned so far. Mm -hmm. So you got everything covered. You got recycling, you got crime watch, if if you can get permission for the social media and um, that I mean you started before you were on the planning board as a community activist. That's you right. were a resident of Ward 4 and you got involved That's and right. now you're a city councilor. So That's it, right. it all makes sense and, and um, I'm sure you'll have a good turnout because I, hope so. I, I think the ward meetings are very important. Yes I, they I, are. I, I, you know, no matter how many times you do them, people always say they can't get the information. Well they can get the information, you just got to go and yes. show up and talk and That's right. ask the questions. And sometimes people get a little rambunctious and they're not happy because usually more people show up when they're unhappy with something than when they're happy. But you want happy people too, right? I want everybody. Okay. I do. And I want, I'm hoping for a good turnout. The winter time is a tough time, you know, the first quarter of the year. People don't like to go out after supper and I get that, but I'm hoping I've been trying to really stir the pot to encourage people to come. Yesterday I did a, a mailing of over 100 people in Ward 4 mm -hmm. who had my sign on their lawn. And so I, I sent them uh, this same flyer inviting them to come. Um, I'm putting up flyers all over Ward 4, and which is a nice way of getting to know more business people mm -hmm. as well. Um, and then I'm coming on your show. And so between all these things, I'm hoping to get a good turnout. I will keep to the hour and a half. And I understand, I think your cable access people are going to come and video it, mm -hmm. which means we'll get the word out after the fact. But, but it, they're better off going. Oh, they're we want them there. much better off going, but much better off. We'll That's show right. them after the That's fact, right. too, and we'll give See you us the, in action live. We'll give you the link for this so great. you can put it on your Facebook as well. That would be so great. You can promote it. That would be great. I mean, I'm a big fan of government being very public, out in the sunshine, yes. holding meetings because people you know, like to say mean things. And if you're out there and you're actually doing the job yes. that you were elected to do, that's a wonderful thing. Yes. Are you enjoying it so far? For the most part, I am. Um, and I've had small victories, street lights on, on streets that didn't have any. And I'm working on a playground right now, though there's a lot of moving parts to refurbishing a playground. Um, potholes filled and just helping people with things questions and issues around City Hall. I'm advocating, I'm doing a lot of advocating, and as someone who's trained as a lawyer, I, that's very comfortable to me, good place to be. Now, what committees did you get assigned to, Susan? I'm on, well, of course, we're all on Finance Committee, right. and I'm also on Real Estate and Accounts. We've had one Real Estate meeting, we haven't had any Accounts meetings yet, and I am really hoping that we do soon. Okay, well, I'm just gonna promote one more time. Thanks for being on and we wish you success. Uh, the Ward 4 meeting is on the 14th of March, 6.30 to 8 at Emanuel House, which is on Nelson Street. Um, there'll be plenty of time to ask questions and listen to the folks and uh, just make sure you go. Thanks, Susan. Thanks so much, Mark. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.